Now, Jack, yesterday I understand there was a bit of controversy about a, 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 a torch that went missing. And the person involved was yourself and, and Macca. Can you, um, can you give me any more details on what happened yesterday? Well, his torch is missing me for, oh, that must be my torch. Yeah. And Jack must have found it. Yeah. And he had to do it before. Yeah. Oh, that must be my torch. And then he dumped me in the water. And I don't know why, because he thought it was his torch. What did he dunk in the water, mate? Because he thought that was his torch. Was it his torch? It wasn't his torch, it was my how, torch. How do you know it wasn't his torch? How do you know it was your torch and wasn't his torch? Because his torch was in a box. Is your name on that head. torch? It's not a, It's not when, when my torch I was in my tent. Yeah. I put it somewhere. Yeah. But then I came back to that place and I found it. Okay. He thought it was his. Right. Because I, he thought I found it. Okay. But it yeah. wasn't his. You were quite upset, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And have you sorted? The, have you sorted your differences out today? Yep. Yeah. And well, what was the outcome? Well, I just said, well, Michael just forgot, so I just forgive him. You forgive him? <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank Christ you were brought up in St. Anthony's, eh? Sorry, you know. Hey? Good Catholic yeah. boy. Good Catholic boy. Hey, God boy. Yeah. And what, what would you say to Macca? Just quietly. What would you do to him? I'd do this to him. Oh, that's gold. <laughs> Gave you the right, we've just had a, uh, a, re a response from young Jack Norman here over yesterday's torch incident. What have you got to say about yesterday's torch incident at the air, Macca? It was an honest mistake on my behalf. I truly believed that what I was doing was in the best interest of camp. I still do believe it was probably in the best interest of camp. Uh, even well, though, even though the incident, I was completely wrong. Right. It okay. Ju it just, it just sets a protocol. Who runs cam? All in okay. lock. I'm just going to have to cut you short there, Macca. But uh, just on the previous interview I just conducted with young Jack Norman here. Yes. Uh, he did give you the bird, so what have you got to say about that? I'm glad he only just gave me the bird. I, they told me he was coming with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I think we can uh, do a handshake here and, uh, and and bury the hatchet. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good on you. He's a tough one. Yeah, good on you, mate. You're a bit bigger than that, Goldie. Come on, mate. <laughs> you know what an areola is? I know what an areola is. What is it? What is it? Oh, good boy. Good boy, he knows. Well, number two, if you want a fucking interview, we've got Rob here, he's the chef. His son's helping out here, the apprentice, first year. We've got Jerry over here. He's fucking running the fishing cop, he just ended it. But yeah. he's, he's going real good, he's helping all the kids out, yeah. that's what we like to see. <laughs> the fucking foreman, man. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, that yeah. was very well spoken by you. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, but he's, got two daddies. that's why I'm fucking number yeah. 1.75, mate. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you. Hey, because you got fucking oh. old number one daddy and number two daddy, doesn't mean you're the fucking boss. Fuck off. <laughs>
go. My name's Phil, mate. No, my mate Goldie told me to talk to you about these uh, hub lockers, mate. You've got to lock these things in if you want to turn a Nissan into a real four-wheel drive Nissan, okay? Turn them on there every time you want to go up a hill or maybe over a little gutter when you're going into your driveway. If you're not going to go four-wheel drive and turn them back off, okay? They'll work every time you use them, all right, mate? Just remember. Young Jack, going on the big hill. Go, Australia. Hey! <laughs> hey! In the fucking patrol. Hey, <laughs> dude. How are you doing? <laughs> right, young Jack's got his, uh, his rope out here. You got enough length there, Jack? Oh, looks like it, mate. Looks like it. I'm talking about the rope. Oh. <laughs> uh. In the past 26 years, Kurt, I've taken this position very seriously, and I'm honoured to take this position, saying this, uh, this great speech in front of you, great gentlemen on 2020 right. camp. Uh, right so let's, let's get it going, alright? Right. Under the Southern Cross, I stand. A sprig of water in my hand. A symbol oh of this native land. Man. Australia, you fucking beauty! That's all, folks.